Hi, folks. This is BC. You're watching BC's Deuce and Guns, and today is going to be diesel in your high power air rifle part two. All right, folks, just like last time, I'm going to be using the Ruger Air Hawk. I know it's going to damage it eventually. Don't care. Got it for cheap. When it finally breaks, I'll get another one or something else. Something similar. Okay, and of course I'm going to be using, like I said, the Daisy 7 point. I wrote it on the bottom. I really should have written on the bottom of the lid. 7.9 grain. Wad cutter pellets. And I've got a whole array of just different oils and cleaners and just, just junk I grabbed from the uh, from the garage on the way out here and number one i'm going to going to try some uh, clp try some hoppies uh lube that's just normal normal gun lube hoppy is number nine cleaner going to try some uh, alcohol based uh, brake cleaner some dot three brake fluid lighter fluid WD-40 and just plain old spring water. Now the reason I got this out is last second I thought it might turn to steam and we all know steam is quite a force to be reckoned with with all the you know different generation units that we have and the you know steam powered locomotive. Why not pellets? Let's get started. Okay my procedure to test all these is first I'm going to start out with a cleaned and ready to go bore and then I'm going to do a string of five with each chemical and in between that in between each test each five a string of five at least I'm going to go ahead I've got a cleaning rod and some patches I'm going to go ahead and put a few patches through the bore and then shoot five normal clean pellets through there and verify that on the crony that I'm back to normal again before I start my next string here's my first five and I'll be using CLP in this one. So I'll top these off here. I'm just going to put a little squirt in the bottom of each pellet. Just fill each skirt up with a little bit of CLP. Now let's see what kind of uh, speed I can get out of that. Okay, first string of five, CLP. I actually recorded every shot here, but nothing exciting happened and everything was business as usual. So I'm going to change over to this chart format because who wants to see me shoot 80 unexciting pellets? The baseline speed for these heavier 7.9 grain pellets was right at 890 feet per second, which is right in line with the power from the factory. So this air rifle has not lost any power so far from all the dieseling I put it through. I know there's a lot of info here on the chart, so feel free to pause if you're interested in looking at the data. But I'm going to go over the highlights of what I found here. As you can see, the best overall, I would consider at least, is a tie between CLP and Hoppy's Gun Oil. The CLP had a slight advantage in average speed, but the Hoppy's Gun Oil actually had a slight advantage in extreme spread between the highest and lowest feet per second, which would possibly equate to a better accuracy. The older uh, Hops number no. 9 solvent, however, was a front runner for highest feet per second, but with almost four times the extreme spread won't be as accurate or shouldn't be. Now the alcohol based uh, brake cleaner, it evaporated as I shot my five rounds so that made the extreme spread go crazy. And the rest of the other additives I tried didn't do very well at all and unfortunately my theory about the water turning into steam obviously didn't pan out because if you look at it, it was actually way slower than just a stock pellet. So in conclusion, it looks like anything that is a light petroleum based machine oil will deliver the best overall performance as an air rifle dieseling agent. Please remember that dieseling an air rifle will cause damage to your rifle and could be dangerous to yourself. So guys, please remember to like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. I'll probably be making more of these in the future. Have a great day, guys. See ya.